Hello students, welcome to another video on English grammar. Today's topic is prepositions. Have you heard about prepositions? Well, it's a part of speech. Remember how we did videos on nouns, pronouns, adjectives? Now, it's time to learn something about prepositions. What are prepositions? Have you heard about these words in, under, on, Okay, look at the picture. Look at that cat. The cat is in the box. The cat is under the box. The cat is above the box. The cat is in between the box. The cat is in front of the box. The cat is near the box. Hmm. In all of these sentences, what are these words doing beside, above, behind, in, between, under, near, in front of, on? Can you think and tell me something? Well, these words connect a noun or pronoun to another word in the sentence, showing us the relationship between them. A preposition is used to show direction, location, time or to introduce an object. Prepositions are used on a daily basis, whether you realize it or not. When you say, I am sitting on the chair. You just used a preposition there. On. On is a preposition. Okay. Now let's move forward and see some different types of prepositions that we use in our daily life. Based on the formation, there are three kinds of preposition. Simple preposition, compound prepositions and complex prepositions. Now let's see what are these. The first one, simple prepositions, are generally short or one word one syllable prepositions or words like in on at why from about over under through till up of of for to well let's see how we use these in sentences they come from kolkata there is some juice in the can he fell off the chair these are all simple prepositions because they are single word now let's take a look at the compound prepositions Compound prepositions are words formed by combining prepositions, nouns or adverbs like in, to, made by combining two different prepositions in and to, without, made by combining two different prepositions again with and out. Here are some examples. Put the bread into the bread bin. At the movie hall, I sat between Kavya and Varun. She ran across the street. To catch the bus. These are all compound prepositions made by two different prepositions or nouns or adverbs joined together. Now let's see the complex prepositions. These are slightly longer ones. Some prepositions are made up of a group of words that do the work of a single preposition like in front of. This is used by combining three different prepositions because of again two different prepositions taken together in spite of in addition to according to along with these are all made by combining a few group of words together let's look at these examples there is a car in front of the house rita succeeded because of her hard work in spite of the cold the children played outside the garden. In these sentences, it is appropriate to use these complex phrases as it makes proper sense here. Prepositions are also divided based on their uses. The first type of preposition is preposition of place. Preposition of place shows where something happens like under, underneath, over, below, beside down near in front of the dog is on the kennel the dog is above the kennel the dog is in the kennel the dog is near the kennel the dog is behind the kennel can you form rest of the sentences with these prepositions looking at the images the next type of preposition is called preposition of time Preposition of time shows when something happened like on, at, in, till like 
I had a cup of coffee in the afternoon. I do my homework on Friday afternoons. I came home at dusk. Now try to make sentences with these other prepositions given in the picture. You can pause the video here and try to make the sentences now itself so that you can practice. Okay, moving on to the next preposition, preposition of direction. This shows us where something is going after, down, along, right, etc. Preposition of movement or direction. Like the ball went down the stairs. The ball came out of the box. The ball went into the box. The ball leaped over the box. The ball rolled away from the box. The ball fell off the box. Now it's your turn to make more sentences with these images. Okay? Right. The last type of preposition that I will tell you is preposition of cause or purpose. Like, this is just the place for picnic. He suffered from fever for five days. The girl cried with fear. In all of these sentences, prepositions are used before another noun which is relating it as a cause or a purpose why this thing has happened or occurred. Now you must be thinking, how can I use correct prepositions in any sentence? Well, there is only one word children. Practice. Practice as much as you can and you will definitely be able to use correct prepositions. Thank you children. Keep practicing. We will meet in the next video.